TV anchor man Dan Rather stepped out from behind the CBS News anchor desk today for a critique of the way it is and the way it's covered. Marcus Jones was among those at the Harvard Law School Forum. Good evening. This is the CBS Evening News. Dan Rather reporting. Recent polls rate him the most respected and most trusted anchor man in America. And during a visit to Harvard Law School today, Dan Rather acknowledged that praise with self-effacing humility. You know, Abe Lincoln once said about such introductions, never take the time to deny them because the audience will find out soon enough for themselves. As a correspondent, Rather covered the historic struggle for civil rights, the war in Vietnam, and the assassination of John Kennedy. Now, managing editor of the Evening News, his field assignments have been cut back, but the pressure of delivering Americans the big picture rests squarely on his shoulders. Dan Rather has come a long way in his professional career, but in his 36 years as a journalist, the last five have probably been the most trying and yet the most rewarding. In 1981, he took the helm of the nation's most trusted network news show, and since that time, he has become a solid anchor in the turbulent waters of television news. Trying to fill the shoes of Walter Cronkite has not been easy. Under rather stewardship, CBS News has faltered in the ratings, occasionally trailing competitors Tom Brokaw and Peter Jennings. Ratings pressure to which you refer uh, is also real. It's a fact of life. Uh, never has it been a fiercer fact of life for us. And it does sometimes result in, uh, in excess. It sometimes results in a pandering to what we believe frequently wrongly, but what we believe may bring viewers to the set. Ratings may have been one of the reasons CBS News and a blue jean clad Dan Rather took to the streets of New York recently to produce the documentary 48 Hours on Crack Street. Its violent images and gritty information won high praise for Rather and Company and high ratings as well. Do you call this a standard crack house? Yeah, it's a crack house, sir. Standard in this prison. Now, live from Boston and all around New England, this is the New England News. Local network affiliates also have to consider the ratings, so much so that pressure from affiliates has put network news shows in jeopardy. I think it's an endangered species. I think it'll make it. I think some network news will survive. I hope we survive, but yes, I think it's endangered. Tonight, Jorge Quiroga, just back from Nicaragua, begins his series, The War Next Door. And Advances in technology have made it cheaper for local stations to cover faraway stories. Reporting live from Jacksonville, Florida, via News Star, Susan Warnick. And in many cities, affiliates are bumping network newscast from their traditional 7 o'clock time slot in favor of more profitable reruns and game shows. There's no chance now that news, uh, the network news will ever expand, I'm, I assume. Well, you never say never. I don't see any current prospect of it expanding. We'd we'll be lucky to hold what we've got. Indeed, these are trying times for those in the network hot seat, but somehow, Rather still manages to smile and press on. Thank you for joining us. Good night.